Kill, what's going on YouTube? And welcome back to another episode featuring me, Edwin, aka the Comic Jabroni. You're your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle brother, guys. Thanks for joining. Again, today's video is a special video and it is brought to you by ooh, Eagle Rare 10 Year Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Mmm. Cheers, guys. Remember to drink your bourbon every day because it keeps you healthy and it moves the brainstem. So, what do I got for you today? In the mail last week, and it's been a while, I should have unboxed this earlier, but last week in the mail, I received a package, and as you can tell, it's a big package from my brother, the Bearded Comic Bro. If you guys haven't checked this channel out, definitely hit that link up there in the corner. Check my homie out, Bearded Comic Bro, because he helped me find a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Grail toy that I have been looking for and I've been searching for and I've been on the hunt for a long, long time. He hit me up on Instagram, said that his comic shop back in Ohio where he lives had it there in the store. He sent me pictures of it. He showed me the price was 100% complete and I said bruh I'm sending you the money right now I will tell you that it took forever to get to me here in Augusta Georgia it was supposed to be here over like four days or five days and it ended up taking an extra week and a half and that was not his fault that was the US Postal Service fault and how bad it's been because of COVID and everything going on but I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna show you what it is. I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're going to do a deep dive into this toy. I know I haven't told you what it is because I wanna show you first. So, are you ready? YouTube, are you ready? Cheers, everybody. Mm. So, let's put this big ass box down here on the floor and let's pull this sucker out. Boom, look at that guys, it is the Playmates 1990, I believe it was, or 1989, I believe it was 1990, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Technodrome, guys, ooh, buddy, when I tell you that this has been my number one turtle grail toy. I am not joking. I've been searching high and low and on eBay and on, uh, on Craigslist and every other type of place that you can go searching for this thing. And I just never found it at the price that I was willing to pay for it. And 100% complete. As you can tell right here, I'm gonna give it the good old turnaround. It is not in an orange, yellowish type of color, like what happens to a lot of these toys, and especially with older retro video game consoles, you can see the same if you have a Super Nintendo from back in that time, they start turning yellow. None of that, this thing is absolutely amazing. Absolutely has everything in there, and I am gonna show you the inside of this, but just to give you a point of reference, I looked on eBay for these, and the prices that I was seeing was $250, $300. The eye alone was selling for 40 to 50 bucks because this is the one piece of it that almost always goes missing. Now, as a kid, I owned this. I remember owning it, but it was nowhere near complete. Almost as soon as I opened it up, I lost pieces. And then throughout the years, I would tear it apart and lose a piece here and lose a piece there but to finally be able to own it again, and I cannot wait to get back to San Antonio to put it in the display case with the rest of my turtles. But what I'm going to do is, the NECA figures that I've been collecting while I've been here in Augusta, I'm gonna use those and have this as the set piece with the Shredder and Bebop and Rocksteady and the Foot Soldiers all around here. And as soon as I can find the rest of the turtles, it's gonna be a battle, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the camera around. We're gonna get a close-up on this. I'm gonna open it up for you to be able to see the inside of it, guys. So I'll be right back in two seconds. 
Cowabunga! Alright guys, so here it is on my turtle table that none of you have seen yet. So I'll give you a closer look at the table, but here is the Technodrome. The inside all opened up. The eggshell, as you can tell, opens up these side panels and then you can hold them open with the legs which is absolutely amazing, but check this thing out. It is just incredible, guys. Absolutely love this thing. Give you a closer inspection of what the inside of this thing looks like. There you go. This is right here. This is a stand that when you open it, you have to actually place in there, but when you actually have it on there and if you have one of the foot soldiers or shredder shredder will actually stand on top of that as he's giving commands tonight i dine on turtle soup this is absolutely incredible this is another piece that just kind of pushes on here let me pull this off see right there it just actually places right on here and you can give it a couple turns and boom you see that here we go we're gonna do it again Oh, look at that. And it comes with a rubber band, so you can actually rubber band, bebop, rock steady, whoever you want. Here's the inside. There's a little jail cell in here. This part right here opens up, and you can see inside the Technodrome right there. Absolutely incredible. Let's give you a closer look at the top of here with the eye. Like I showed you earlier, the eye pops right off. This is something that will roll down onto the other side. Here's the other side of the Technodrome, the other eggshell. This piece, I will say, was the only piece I thought it was missing. When I first opened this box up, it wasn't in there. I said, oh no, it's missing one piece, which, you know, whatever, it's one piece, but I was actually able to find it in the bottom of that box. This actually, right here, this piece right here, is where Crane. If you have the old 1988, 1989, I believe, Krang figure, he can be placed right on top of there, and he's looking right into Dimension X. Oh, title, the titles. Ah, titles, hmm, Shredder. I absolutely love this thing, guys, if you can't tell, with just how absolutely amazed I am just by talking about this thing. Check it out. Let's give you a closer inspection of the inside here. And there is a drain on the inside with some goo and some mutagen. And uh, it's just absolutely amazing. Let me give you an outer look of it. There you go, you can see all the bubble. That's all the bubble wrap that it was wrapped up in. <laughs> Did not clean that. So absolutely love this thing. On the other side here, this piece actually, and there goes, there goes the eye. Uh -huh. This piece actually right here will open up. And the eye, instead of rolling down the other way, the eye will actually roll this way and knock right into the turtles and give you a closer inspection of what my table looks like with all my turtle stuff on there. There you go. There's Bebop and Rocksteady who I will be opening up here very soon. There's the turtle van, there's the Rotocast which I've actually just done uh, an opening and unboxing of recently. There's my SNECA Splinter. My Splinter and my Raphael figures with my drink of the day that is eagle rare and my ninja turtle box which was gifted to me by warlord and there you go i got some of my my comics in there kawabunga edwin but anyways guys that is the video the unboxing of my teenage mutant ninja turtle grail absolutely love this thing guys let me know down in the comments below did you have a technodrome as a kid.